want to show you guys how I set up my Sennheiser G3s to work as IFBs or a feed to a boom operator or a producer. I use my Sennheiser G3s mainly to communicate and talk to my boom operators. So if you guys already have some sort of uh, transmitters like the Sennheiser G3s, Electrosonics LMBs laying around and you want to have a good use for them, this is how I do it. Okay, first of all, we're gonna need a kit of Sennheiser G3s, a transmitter, and a receiver. We're gonna need a recorder and a mixer. We're gonna need some batteries, obviously. We're gonna need some cables and a pair of headphones. You can either use earbuds, high fidelity earbuds, or closed headphones. It really depends on your taste and what you like. Uh, some people don't like to use these guys, especially if some, some sound mixers don't allow you to use these things for some reason. But uh, I mean, it's pretty low profile and it's pretty convenient. So let's go ahead and get some batteries in these guys first of all. I'm using in PowerX, but you could use anything really. And these are my electrosonic caddies, if you're wondering. So we need two double A's for the G3s. And the way I do it is pretty simple. So, so now that we have batteries in the G3s, a good rule of thumb is to get familiarized with these things. If you guys don't know how to dif differentiate them, it's pretty easy. And a quick glance, the guy with the switch in here, that's the transmitter, the one that says mic and line, mic and line, the one with the switch, that's the transmitter. And the other one is the one that says AF out. This is the receiver. Transmitter has a switch. Receiver only has the in the 3.5 jack in. So if you're ever in a rush and you want to know which one is which, just remember that the switch one is the transmitter. Okay. So we turn on the receiver and then you get this menu, right? So now we go to set. Scroll. I will scroll to the menu. So go easy setup. It tells you current list, scan new list, or exit. So we go to scan new list. We press select again, and then it's just scanning for a new list. So this is going to take a couple minutes, maybe a minute and a half or something. It depends on how busy the RF spectrum is in the area you're shooting. I will always do this last after I set up my labs. I always do this last. So I get clean uh, channels for my transmitters while I'm recording for my labs. And I actually do my IFBs last. So because this guys are only for listening purposes these are actually not recording anything it's just for listening purposes it's about to be done here uh, it tells you that bank 8 has 12 free channels so that's usually pretty good so i select ok i go select again and it's stored on and off to go back to the main menu uh, in order to communicate to sync up these two guys in the Sennheiser, there's a quick thing. There's an, um, a link so in the receiver. I go again in the menus, and instead of going to the easy setup, I qu I find I look for the sync sync. I press select once more, and now it's it gives me this. So now I turn on my my transmitter, and then I just close them together like this until we see that arrow pop up. And now they're both in the same channel. They're both in 632.925. These guys now are communicating with each other. So these are good to go. Now we need to hook them up with the machine. The way I do it is in the Sun Devices 633, there's a really cool feature that is called the X3 and X4 out. So that gives me an independent mix of whatever I want to send to these outputs. So I usually send, this is my boom operator's feed. I will grab a... TRS 3.5 to 3.5 with the locking connector at the end for my Sennheiser G3s and I will plug this in this thing right here I will plug it in there and then this output this other end will go in the G3 and if you're wondering which one I'm gonna be using which which one of the two I'm gonna be plugging it in this is the transmitter because if you think about it I'm sending a signal out of this machine I'm not receiving anything I'm sending information and like I told you guys earlier the one with the switch is the one transmitter so we plug it in here we lock it in place and then we can place this in a bag or something and that's good to go. Come back here to the machine and I'm going to show you guys real quick how I send it. If you guys are familiarized with send devices uh, recorders, you know that these guys are pretty sweet. You go to menu, outputs, x3, x4, routing. And 
in here in the X3, X4 routing, it tells you how you want to send the information. You want to go post fade, pre fade, tells you the left, right, X1, X2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, because it's 6 channels here. So the way I do it is I mainly just send track, track number 1, because track number 1 is usually my boom, where I'm connecting my boom uh, microphone. I only send the, that one track, so... And I always send it post fade because if I send it pre fade, it might be a, a bit too loud for my boom operator. So now that that's rocking, I come back to my G3s and now I test it. I want to know that is I'm getting good levels. I'm gonna plug my earbuds into the receiver and now I'm gonna send some tone. And as you guys can see over here in the transmitter, there you go. You can see some signal over here in the meters. So now that I know that it's good, I'm getting signal, I hand this to my boom operator and then he can use either closed headphones like these ones or his earbuds. I really don't care what he uses. As long as he hears me and he's capturing good sound, I don't care what he uses. Uh, if it's too loud, the only thing is that when you're sending it this way, the only volume control is going to be on your transmitter and your receiver. So I always do it on the transmitter first so you get the cleanest source possible. So in order to change uh, levels on these G3s, you go to the menu again, you look for the one that says sensitivity. And there we go, the sensitivity. And then right now it's at 36. It can go all the way to 50 to 60 dBs sensitivity i'm gonna leave it at 42 because that's mainly pretty good for me and you just click select again to store it so that way you're giving him some room to play with his so in the other in the receiver you can do exactly the same thing you can go to the select menu you can find af out so what is this is this is telling you is that the information that's coming out of this receiver you can either change it to minus 30 all the way to plus 12 so you get lots of room here in, in case it's too loud. I always keep it at minus 6 because sometimes it's pretty loud. This is how I use my Sennheiser G3s as wireless IFBs so I can communicate with my boom operator. Another way you could hook this up to the sound device 633, it would be with this female XLR with a T3.5 jack. But instead of coming of these outputs, we have all these other outputs here, which we can plug in here through the either the right or the left. You just plug it in here. And like you guessed it, this will go into the transmitter. But that'll, that'll include a different routing inside the machine, so maybe that's for another video. That was my quick video on how to use um, the Sennheiser G3 kit as a IFB. Another thing to keep in mind is that this particular model, the E100s, only transmits a mono signal. So that means that only one of your earbuds is going to work, either the right or the left. I can't remember which one right now, but only one is going to actually be uh, having signal. So that's another thing to keep in mind. Hope you guys find this useful, and I'll see you guys around. Peace.